everybody. Welcome to the Mountain View Country Kitchen Review. Bob Lockwood here. And welcome again to another big hour, a big full hour of your favorites in country and western sound. And along with Smokey Warren, the Mountain Dew Boys featuring Dottie Bay, and tonight's special guest, direct from the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Carlisle. They're all here to entertain you. Brought to you by the good people who make that lip smacking delicious Mountain Dew. Let's get things on the way. Here's one called I Used to Love You. Let's get together. Dottie, up front with the Mountain Dew microphone. I Used to Love You. See me? Mm hmm. You're on, my eyes always light up. I don't know why. It's the expression on your face. Well, I got the audience with me tonight because we got that yay smoky buttons out there. <laughs> yes, I've noticed. There we go. Right, what is this thing here? You know, speaking of yay smoky buttons, we got all these kind of buttons over at the art gallery out there in Elizabeth. You're on Elizabeth area. Pick them up at the art gallery. You know? You're there? You pick yours up over there, Bob? Wait, at the Elizabeth Art Gallery? Yeah. Uh, well, I kind of sneaked into your little uh, attache. Very there, good, yeah. While you were in there. Uh, is that right? All right. You may carry on as we have, uh, what's next? The, the second number. I always get confused with the second number. We got an instrumental here featuring our good buddies, well, Lloyd easy. Gordon and Harvey Reynolds with the Oklahoma Storm. All right. <laughs>
The Oklahoma stump. Say, why well, that's on my mind. Uh, Smoke, what do you say we take a trip out there to Oklahoma and Texas way and uh, how about cutting up a medley or so? Yeah, I got, I got a medley here of uh, about three oh, of them and I hope good, one is good. amongst your favorites or the folks out there. So Harry, give me a little introduction to start off with the Oklahoma Hills. Hmm? Many months have come and gone since I wandered from my home. In his old home hills where I was born Many page of life has turned Many lesson I have learned Yet I have been like in those hills I still belong Away down yonder in the Indian nation I ride my pony on a reservation In his old home hills where I was born Away down yonder in the Indian nation The cowboy's life is my occupation Home Hills where I was born But as I sit here today Many miles I am away From the place I rode my pony By the open black jet trees It's played with prairie trees And it was open Home Hills where I was born
I don't think you would memorize so many words like that all in a row, Smokey. I got loose, I didn't either. <laughs> Smokey, I think, let's take this opportunity to tell the folks about next week. I believe the semifinals coming up. Hey, that's right. We have the semifinals coming up uh, Thursday and Tuesday. The Thursday winners will report here on August the 10th. That's the first and second winners on Thursday. The Thursday winners will report here on August the 10th. The Tuesday winners, the first and second winners on Tuesday, will report here August the 15th. That's next Thursday and the following Tuesday, August 10th and the 15th. The first and second winners. The Thursday winners uh, appear here on August the 10th and uh, Tuesday winners August the 15th. At $100. And that is the courtesy of the Art Gallery of Elizabeth, New Jersey. And something else we might make mention, Smoke, about the September 21st. Uh, the whole Mountain Dew gang will be down in uh, Trenton. That's and right. State Fair. And we'll broadcast live from 8 to 9, the usual time. That'll be September 21st. Right, and sponsored by the good old Mountain Dew. You I'm better believe that, it. Eh? I'm on my 19th bottle. September 21st. Remember that date at the New Jersey State Fair in Trenton, New Jersey. And uh, we're going to have some grand... Old Opry stars there along with all the Mountain Dew boys right. and yourself and all the gang. It's going to be a big night. We'll have uh, at least a couple of hours on stage and one hour on the air. Well, I'll tell you what, Smoke. Old Brother Davis is ready to push buttons and what have you. Before we present our special guest tonight, we'd like you to listen to this refreshing message. Yeah! out here tonight, I'll tell you. And uh, good hand clappers, too. Well, let's get those hands to work right now, because we're going to have a nice warm welcome on a mic. Let's make it a, a nice cold Mountain Dew, we might say. Direct from the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, Tennessee, let's make a feel at home, Bill Carlisle! <laughs> When I was young, I had lots of pills. I could get around, didn't need no help. Sent them all out to get in the way. People all looked at me and said, Too old, too old, he's too old to cut the mustard anymore.
Hey, Bill. I said hush. What's that? You're still jump five foot. I don't know how you work, but you're still work jumping your five foot in the air. Bill? But yeah, Bob. Let me sneak over here. Okay. Let me go over here. This is Mike with you. You, you still jump five foot and three inches on that when you cut the, uh, the muscle there somewhere. Mercy. You know what, Bob, I've always said, the people ask me, say, can you jump high as you always did? I say, yeah. I just can't stay up hardly as long. <laughs> Bill, uh, let me take it on behalf of the Palisades Amusement Park and the Mountain Dew folks and all those Smokey's boys here, and, and welcome to Palisades here, and, and for the great show we have every every Thursday night, eight to nine. And uh, are you not working uh, this Saturday on the Opry, are you? You'll be in town, no, so place. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be traveling. I'll be traveling Saturday night. Be, I yeah, you will. Going home. Right. How long have you been on the Opry? Uh, well, on and off. Home two days in the past eight days. Uh huh. I was home two days and came on up here, and uh, of course uh, uh, tomorrow I play. I don't know where I'll play tomorrow, but I'll play somewhere. Where down in Maryland, somewhere. Oh, that far down. You're still water, I believe. Uh, so. Well, I, you got a difficult number. You want to explain the next one? I'm, I'm getting out of here. Well, this next number, Bob, is is a tune that I'm real proud of. It sold 600,000 records. Of course, not by me, because I didn't record it, but Johnny Horton did. Now, I want to explain to the fellas here. Uh, the way we do this thing, I take off with the verse, Smokey. You all ain't going to have no trouble. If anybody makes a mistake, it'll be me. You know that. But uh, we, we ad-lib the first part, and then we'll play rhythm on the course, and everybody stops, and we start over, and it's got a whole gob of verses. Kill me. If you pat your foot, pat me, neighbors, please. Well, a tomcat is sitting on a bale of straw, and a bulldog sitting on the ground. Don't that get you right in there? <laughs> I went and pinched the bulldog's tail. They went around and around and around. They went around and around. It's the same old tail that the crow told me. Way down yonder by the sea for tree. Same old tail that the crow told me. Way down yonder by the sea for tree. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Second bird. I... She slobbered so bad. I went and spent all the money that I ever had. It's good to be with you, Smokey. I went to see the doctor what to do about it. He said I'd have to teach a cow how to spit. It's a same old tail that the crow told me. Down yonder by the sea for tree. Same old tail that the crow told me. Down yonder by the sea for tree. The game was called off on account of rain. The humpback man went to get his quarterback and the fullback kicked the hump off the humpback's back. It's a same old tail that the fool told me. Way down yonder by the sea for tree. Same old tail that the fool told me. Way down yonder by the sea for tree. Now this is the last verse. Listen to her. I just found out why ham is so high. They ain't but two hind legs on a hog. That's why. I'm going to cross him up with an octopus and ham will come down. Be hog in the middle and ham all around. It's a same old tail that the crow down yonder by the tree for Same old tail that the crow told me. Sycamore tree. Much obliged to you, David. Now we're going to do another little thing here. We're going to do one 
I'm going to talk this one off, and you've got to listen close now to catch the message. I talk this soft, and you all listen soft. Okay? Now, me and Liz, you all just play uh, something like the Tennessee Waltz, our national anthem. That'll be good. Me and Liz was on our first date. We was a set at this red light. I happened to wait. This old boy walked up with a big possum grin, and he just opened the car door and got right in, and I thought, what kind of deal is it? Now, you know, the thing that was getting me the most was the way this old boy seemed to feel his oats. Man, he was really getting under my skin just as sitting over at that big, stupid thing. And I thought, what kind of deal is this? I got to wondering about this friend to live. But I figure in a minute she'll tell me who he is. But as we drove along, I thought, man, oh man. Because me and him and Liz was all three holding hands. And I thought, now, what kind of deal is it? I ain't too smart. But I could still see this whole deal looked all fouled up to me. So I thought I better stop it. It was going too far because she was a-hugging me and he was a-hugging her. Yeah. And I thought, now, what kind of deal is this? I knew it wasn't right. But what could I say? I thought, well, I just kind of let it go along that way. But pretty soon, I seen I was out on a limb. Because I couldn't kiss her without kissing him. And man, I thought, now, what kind of deal is this? So I stopped the car and I said, look here, Liz. Blamed if you hadn't better tell me who this guy is. She said, I don't know him. I thought it was your friend. I said, well, if you don't know him, what's he doing here then? Man, I thought, what kind of deal it is? So I grabbed him by the collar and I jerked him out of the, jerked him out of the car. He's a little bitty fellow. I said, buddy, I ain't never seen nobody like you are. How come you pull these kind of jokes? He said, well... Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. And I thought, what kind of deal is it? So I drew back my fist. I was going to hit him in the face. Boy, he broke loose now, brother snake. So now here I stand just a looking at Liz and both of us are wondering who this guy is. Now, what kind of deal do you think this is? If you find out, I wish you'd let me know. It's torn me up like a sow's bed. I ain't never been so messed up in my life. Oh, I'm dead. That's the original. That's Bill Carlisle's. And what kind of deal is this? Well, Bill, Uncle Lee, what do you say we take our owners right now? You, you and I step over to that Mountain Dew distillery. Let's let me hear some of them good sounds. Okay. All right. What do you want me to do? cock your pistol. Go get him, Bill. I'd like to say before I do this one, neighbors, we're going to be over at Copa Club in Sir Costas. Oh, that's called Sea Caucus. Sea Caucus, yeah. As we, get through, Caucus, yeah. As we get through here, we're going over there with Smokey Ward. You ought to put that one in the album. Huh? You ought to put that one in the album. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, now here it is. I'm from a little old town down in Tennessee. It's called Bristol. But 
man, I can tell you lots of things that a sure cop your pistol. I knew a feller, he had a scar right here on the side of his face. It was caused from a crash the old boy had in a Georgie stock car race. Everybody called him Scarface Sam. Man, his face, it was a sight. But you know, he went to a plastic surgeon and a doctor fixed him up all right. Now, this doctor took some skin from Sam somewhere. I don't know where he took from to put to. But I'm going to tell you something to cock your pistol before I get through. Sam's face looks fine now. The scar's gone. Man, he's the talk of the town. But did you know every time that Sam gets tardy, his face wants to set down? Now, wouldn't that cock your pistol? You know, I know another old boy, Smokey. He's from a little old town way down south. His wife, she really had him under her thumb. He was afraid to even open his mouth. Everybody called him Fido. Because he stayed in the doghouse so much. He could do anything that a dog could do. Seemed like he just had that special touch. He got to chasing the automobiles. He thought he was a dog, I guess. He'd run alongside him and bite at the wheels. But you wait till I tell you the rest. His wife got afraid he might bite some kid. He wouldn't even come home when she whistled. So she went and put a muzzle on him before he did. Now, wouldn't that cock get pistol? Now, folks, this is a true story. I know it. Because I was that soldier. <laughs> Well, it's due at time now, the country music review as here at Palisades Amusement Park. In fact, we might have a trio working for us. Let's bring up Dottie Mae to the microphones along with Jerry H Welcome to it. Uh, and, and Slim over here, Jerry Haddon. Okay. Here's one called Fooling Around. Oh, let me say that uh, live from Palisades Amusement Park, the Mountain Dew Country Music Review, and this is WJRZ Big 97 in Hackensack. Smokey, what do we have lined up next? 
I would like to slow the tempo down and do a pair of beautiful waltzes. One, of course, is one that's written by our own Harvey Reynolds called The Reynolds Waltz, followed with another beautiful one, written and recorded a good, good, good buddy of ours, Bob, Bob Wills. Got this one called the Westphalia Waltz. Isn't that right? Yeah, uh, that's right. Harvey? Okay, Harvey, kick it off.
Thank you. Well, let's, let's hear a song now that Dottie Mae sings beautifully, and I love this song myself. And let's give a nice round here to Dottie with Once a Day. Dottie? Mail on me? Yeah, I just got it today, incidentally. Oh, it was good. I got, I got a lot of mail on you. And I got news for you folks that are listening, you folks in here tonight. Didn't know that he was going to do this number. We did get a lot of requests for you, with a, a number that you've been picking around clubs out in part, various parts of Jersey and Pennsylvania. One called I Lost You. That's one of Irving Berlin. Irving Berlin wrote that in 1926. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jimmy Dean recorded it, and the late Jim Reeves recorded it, and somebody I'd like to record it. It's called When I Lost You. Bob Blackwood, When I Lost You. Oh, 
Seven years ago throughout Canada, and it was a big request. It's one call I'm telling you. Harvey, give me an introduction key A. We'll kick it
nice warm welcome and welcome back our guest of tonight's show from the Grand Ole Opry, Nashville, Tennessee, Bill Carlisle. In a vine-covered shack in the mountains, bravely fighting the battle of time, here's a dear one to sweat life's song.
Bill Carlisle, and he'll be making rounds this weekend in the metropolitan area. I'd like to bring to the Mountain Dew microphones now at Palisades Abusement Park, Dottie May, and Smokey Warren. Here's one that uh, the Everly Brothers did some years back. Huh? All right. Is that thing a little sour a bit? All right. A reminder about the talent contest after the program. We'll take about a 15-minute break. You folks that are on your way out here, uh, don't worry about applications. we got plenty uh, here to fill out. And about the uh, semifinals coming up next Thursday. Next Thursday, Thursday night winner's report. Thursday, the Tuesday winner's report. A week from this coming Tuesday here at Palisades Amusement Park. In case the Pony Express gets a little lost. Okay? Here's one called Walk Right Back. That's right. Okay, Smokey and Dottie. I think we got time for two more if we hurry. I'd like to get uh, Jerry up here to sing one. I'm going to dedicate it to himself one called The Bottle, Let Him Down. The Bottle Baby (laughs) sings again. I could drink enough to keep you 
enjoyed tonight's Mountain Dew Country Music Review program, and we'll be back again next week, by golly, with Smokey War and the Mountain Dew Boys and featuring Dottie May and guests Ben Trevor and Benny Starr. Bob Lockwood here wishing you a pleasant good night, and looking forward to seeing you next week at Palisades Amusement Park. Mountain Dew Country Music Review, produced by Norm Marshall, our engineer, Gene Sewak, and heard only on WJRC Big 97 Hackensack. Good night! Oh,